um, my agent, we had a we had a deal with this team. The Wiz, though, I had a buyout to go play for another team at any time. Long as the team would come and buy me out, we had it started. The buyout started in January and it ended in February. Well, that was the yearly cutoff date in February. I was planning to go to yearly. That didn't happen. Um, so me and the team came to a type of some type of agreement during uh, one of our national team breaks. It was right around like beginning of February, where uh, some of the local national players uh they go play for the national team so turkey got a national team spain all those guys so it'd be like that guys will go play for the national team uh i went I, I i got i got granted to go home and uh we came to agreement in my contract they released me then hapo jerusalem where i'm at now uh they offered me they picked up on the on the, on the, uh the buyout and i signed here in like Fe- february 18th i got here february 22nd and i've been here since cool man so you liking it? You liking Jerusalem? I'm sure. Damn, man. a lot of history. Tel Aviv. Uh, give y'all a view real quick. Maybe I right, see. Right. Let me see. Camera around. With the virtual camera. No, I ain't man. Hold up. There we go. Can you see Look that? At you. Oh man, you on top of the world out there. <laughs> yeah. Man. That's what's this up. Is... Son. Yeah, man. So it's it's That's beautiful. Dope. It's a, it's an everyday thing, man. For real, living, bro, living. I like it. I like yeah. it. Hey, man, Indeed. look, being being overseas, right? And like you said, you, you know, you you plan for much better money now. Do you feel? Yeah. And, and, and like you said, it's locals there and stuff. Do you feel any tension, or do you feel that, you know, just that thickness as far as you know, you on the bench and it's like, hey, you know, the hate from you know just. Being an American player sometimes, yeah. and not necessarily where you at now, but just on your journey, you know, did you see like, oh, so, you must be getting money, so you do you do your all the work. So yeah, so you, you you get some guys that's like, you get some guys that's like, damn, like you know, they came over here and and took our minutes, took our spots, like you know, I want to prove my, just like like if we was in the states and a, a European come over, you know, yeah. and he's good and and they. And you know the staff believing them more and playing more and things like that. You are gonna feel some type of way, but more so, the guys look at it like, man, these guys are coming to help us because they talented as hell too. You know, if you look about, if you look at it, what's taking over the NBA? European players. You know, I mean, we still got our, we still got our killers and our dogs. Don't get me wrong. You know, we got the greats, but that European style is taking over the NBA. You look on, you look on the coaching staff and the coaching and the, and the actual roster mm-hmm. is done by European coach, assistant coaches. And then you got European players. You know, you got European assistant developers, like uh, player developers, things like that. So, you know, it, it's crazy how the game is evolving. It's so tight. And if you look at it, like the 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 game is watched. So you never know who's watching, and that and it's so true because people said to me all the time, "You know who's watching?" This thing called synergy, man. They can. They, I know they exactly what you're talking watch. about. Exactly, they can see and watch. I know exactly game. what you're talking about. Hey, look, talk and, a little bit about that because this is a technology show. So, synergy, synergy yeah. is explain what that is. Like, uh, you know, how they scout you on that. They, they watching so everything. Synergy, they know you're. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Synergy is like a huge database about uh, on on all sports, not just basketball, but all sports, football, basketball. I'm sure. I'm sure I probably got baseball, but I don't know how you watch film on baseball. <laughs> but you know. <got> all- <laughs> Got all those things, man. I think women's basketball, all that stuff, overseas, college, uh, maybe even high school, depending on if your game is televised, um, semi-pro, whatever. So synergy is basically you can go on there, you can look up a player by his name, or you can look up a player by his team or whatever, and you can look at every single game or every single clip that player has to do. So if he's a pick and roll player, if he's a three-point shooter, if he's a offensive rebound guy, defense rebound, defensive stopper, whatever. You can look at just those clips. Like, for instance, like, I get weird stats sometimes from, you know, some of my, uh, uh, one of my old coaches sometimes. He'd be like, yo, you shoot, you shoot 47% from three in the right corner, but you shoot 37% from three in the in the left corner. You know, it, it's weird. Like, that's how they can dime it down to a T. He's like, yo, when you're going right, you got 50% of finishing at the rim, but when you go left, you normally end up with a jump shot. You know, it's like it, they break your game down and they can watch and see everything you do. So 
that synergy thing, man, is real. And then, you know, you got these scouts, man, that's just you, know, you got these agencies and these NBA scouts that got branches, man. So like like, like OKC may got an international scout who's just looking he he's just in the 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 European area of say Germany, France, and in Italy. That's that's his that's his region. Then you got another scout that's from another team that's in uh Turkey, whatever, you know what I'm saying? So these scouts are all over the place, man, and they they get to see a lot of basketball. I mean, I can remember looking at scouts and things like that courtside when we were playing the game. So, uh, you like I said, you never know who's watching. Now, shout out to Synergy on that one. But to you also with the training, do you use Synergy to help you kind of, okay, that's my tendency. Let me try to work on when I go back to the lab. Let me try to, you know, do X off of that. Do you, you use it for that? So I, I do watch Synergy a little bit for that. And then I also use uh, my just my game film. You know, um, me and my trainer, we, all, well, when I'm in season, my coaches do everything. They help me out with a lot. Yeah. They just want us to focus on ball. They uh, break down clips. We'll watch film. Hey, you could do this, you could do that. But when it comes to the summertime work, when, as soon as I touch down, my trainer give me a week off or whatever time, how much time I need off. And when I come back, we we'll always sit down and watch film. Yo, you know, you need to work on this. You need to work on that. On this and you work on that and then we'll fix it and that's the key points and a lot of people go into the summer and work on it's, it's cool to work on your whole total package but i always try to pick all right i i know what i do really well and that's i can get to the rim i can i can get to you know my my turnaround out of the post up i, I can handle the ball I can play pick and roll but my my things that i always work on shooting is always a must everybody should just continue to work on that shooting but for me shooting ball handling Making reads out of the pick and roll, and good fit and good footwork. Those are like my main things that I work on. Those are a must. And then when he throws in, yo, I seen this, I seen that. We need to work on that. Then we are just focused on those two things for sure. But without, but also we have to complete those other four things that we know that it's our bread and butter. Like that's that's your off. focus. Exactly. I got. And then it was just something that we're trying to add to the package. But a lot of people would just go work on this to work on that, you know, just that and the third. Like I remember reading something about. Um, Buddy Hill, he worked out with Kobe one time. And, you know, he was saying that uh, he worked out with Kobe and for, for like four days straight, they worked on nothing but the left side of the floor. Everything was on the left side of the floor. They didn't even touch the right side of the floor. But that's just the, 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 I don't know, that's just the mind state of Kobe. That focus, that, that, that killer just, yeah, again. it's like, Pass to this side of the floor before I go to the other side of the floor. And that's the type of stuff we be on, man. We use the whole court, but when we're working on some specific, we just on that, we on that one thing and we make sure we got it to a T to where it's though it shows up in game film. Like yesterday, I know throughout the whole pandemic, we worked on from a three-point line, somebody ran out to you crazy, shot fake, side step, dribble, and then shoot the three again. You know, set your feet and shoot through again. <laughs> now it's just so yesterday I had one of those and my, my my trainer just was he's not surprised but he was real like yo that's it looks so such second nature worked on it but a few months ago that would have been a shot fake and pull up one dribble pull up but he like man the gotcha. game is the game now threes and layups you know so nah you on it